Arbitrary detention has been a burning issue in our country for the last couple of decades. This is why the efforts of this working group has been so important for us. There have been many prisoners of conscience in Burma for over 23 years. Some have been released, but still many remain in prison. Not just in Burma, but in other countries all over the world, people have been detained for their beliefs and detained in a way which is not in conformity with the rule of law. We believe in rule of law. We believe in basic human rights. We believe that people have a right to a free conscience. We should be able to speak and live and act in accordance with our conscience. If that is disallowed to us, if people are placed under arbitrary detention for exercising their right to a free conscience, then we diminish the value of the whole world. We diminish the value of thinking human beings. We would like to thank the working group for all that it has done for political prisoners in Burma, of whom I was one until last year. For political prisoners, the knowledge that there are people outside in the free world who care for us and who are working for our release means a great deal. This is what strengthens us throughout years of isolation. This is what makes us believe that it is worthwhile to stand up for one's convictions, for one's free conscience. Your work is invaluable to so many people. And yet, what we wish most of all that is that there should be no need for your working group to continue anymore. This is what we want to achieve, a situation where we will not need a working group on arbitrary detention, which means that we look forward to a time when we will have rid the world of arbitrary detention. I depend on you to work towards that. We all depend on you. And I hope very much that we in Burma, who have known and suffered from arbitrary detention, will be able to join hands with you in freeing the whole world from the scourge of arbitrary detention. Thank you.